Hey, how's it going? My name is Ben Neighbors and I'm the founder of Soccer Entrepreneur. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a part-time soccer business. Now, in most of my videos, I don't really talk about helping people part-time. I, I always look to help coaches who want to do this as a full-time career. But that's not really for everybody. And I realize that because a lot of the emails I've gotten recently are from coaches who either already coach in club soccer, high school soccer, or they have other jobs, and they're looking to transition it into this part-time first and then maybe go full-time. So this video is more for making an additional uh, income stream it, based off whatever job you have right now. So if you, you could be a college kid, uh, you could already have a, a, a different job, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna show you how to transition. And I know looking back on it for me, this is something I wish I would have gotten into when I was way younger. I know I started this right after college, but I should have started this when I was in college. That would have given me way more experience dealing with parents, knowing how this business works. Um, so if you are younger, I would highly recommend that you start this as a part-time thing now, and then later on, you can transition and do this full-time. So here's what I would do if I was you. The first thing that you need to recognize is your schedule. If you are already working 40 hours a week doing a different job, then you might have a very limited amount of time to train players. And if I was in your shoes, I would do one thing and make, it, make sure this is very simplified. I would only tr offer training on one day. And I would probably do that like on a Saturday or a Sunday. And on that one day, I would maximize your time. So I would train for like four or five sessions in a row. This way you can train players on one day only that's not interfering with your other job. And this way you actually have the time to train players. I see too many people who try to do this part-time and it's conflicting with what they're already doing during the week. And they try to train players and schedule sessions during the week when they know they don't have time. So simply just offer this on one day or maybe two days. If you have time on Saturday and Sunday, I would offer training on those days but I would be very selective with the days and times that you offer. This way, it's not conflicting with anything else that you do. And as you start to grow, as you maybe get one to two players that are coming privately, uh, you could have a small group, or you might just have a, a clinic every Saturday that you offer, um, however it is that you have it set up. As you grow and start to get more momentum, that's going to give you the confidence to eventually do this as a full-time thing. But I never tell anybody to just drop what you're doing right now and, do, and start training players full time because it takes time to get momentum, it takes, takes time to get players, and you can't really make that full transition into a full time career until you prove to yourself that this is what you like, number one, and this is working. So is it working as a business? If it is, then you can step into this and do this and scale it as a full time thing. So if you're looking to do this part time, those are things I would highly recommend doing because if you don't have enough time in the day to train players, don't use that day to train them. Use a day where you know you're free, you know players are free, and this way you can start to structure your time better with the players that you train. And I know a pretty big common question I get from, from trainers that are looking to do this as a part-time thing, they will ask me, they will say, hey, how can I make an additional thousand or $2,500 a month? Well, if you schedule everything on the weekend and you have enough players and you know what your programs are priced at and you offer something that's of high value for players, then you can easily do that. Uh, but it all comes down to how you have your business set up. Do you have people set up on recurring payments? Uh, do you have a referral program? How do people pay? Do they pay you know, online or are they just paying you by cash or checks? These are huge problems that I know a lot of people face this is why I wrote my first book called The Startup Soccer Academy. Uh, I address all of those problems and I show you what to do. This way you can run a successful part-time or full-time business. So if that's you, if you are interested in turning your passion of soccer training, turn that into a business, I highly recommend you go check that book out. Uh, it's gonna be in the link in the description. Uh, you just go to soccerentrepreneur.com book. That'll take you to a page. It'll give you a free preview of everything that's inside the book. That way you can check it out, see if it's the right fit for you. And with that book, I offer a free consultation where I will talk to you over the phone or on Skype. We have several international 
uh, coaches out there who've gotten this book as well. Um, I will arrange a time to chat with you over the phone after you've gone through the book, after you've completed all the steps. This way I can help you even more with your academy and I can give you my one-on-one -on -one help. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button, comment below if you have any questions, and check out all the resources we have under this video. Uh, we have our website, our newsletter, our book, our mastermind, all the resources there you can see. And uh, I'll see you next time.